everyone, welcome back to the Slough Farm. Today we're gonna to be making kale chips. So we're using two different types of kale today. We have dinosaur kale, and it's called dinosaur kale because it kind of looks like dinosaur skin. And we're using curly red Russian kale, obviously red Russian because of the color. So your first step is to wash your kale. If it's super fresh, like our fresh Slough Farm kale, you're gonna definitely wanna wash it. There could be a little bit of dirt on it. And then you wanna thoroughly dry it. So I recommend taking out a couple dish towels and just placing your kale on the dish towels, nicely spread out, and then you can kind of like pat it dry. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so once your kale is nice and dry, we're gonna rip it into bite-sized pieces. Now you don't really wanna eat the stem because that's like the really hard part, so you're gonna kind of peel it down the stem rip it and then each piece needs to be bite size. Now you want to keep them all about the same size that way they all have the same cooking time so I recommend about this or maybe even a little bigger. Our next step is time for a massage. Not a massage for me, a massage for our kale. So what we're gonna do is pour about two tablespoons of oil over the top. I just give it like a little drizzle, I like that. And then you're gonna do a little pinch of salt here. And with our clean hands, we give it a good massage. So that just means we wanna mix and squeeze. So mixing and squeezing. This is gonna break down some of the fiber in the leaves and that'll make your kale not all chewy, like how raw kale is. I would do that for, I wanna say like three minutes. So once your kale is nice and massaged, you're gonna to wanna to lay it on a cookie sheet. Now what's really important is to make sure that the kale chips aren't on top of each other. You wanna give each one like a flat, even on the sheet, that way they cook all evenly. So lay it a good bit, a good bit can fill on. Spread them all out. And these are gonna crisp up and at the end they're gonna have the consistency and texture of potato chips, but not deep fat fried. And then you're gonna sprinkle with a little bit of salt. And then you can add any type of seasoning you like onto your chips. You can put like some pepper, you can put some spicy like cayenne or paprika on top if you wanna like kick it up a notch whatever you like. And then we're gonna pop this into the oven. Now put these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And remember, for your vegetable scraps, always compost, and you can bring your compost for free to the IGI Farm Hub or to any transfer station. So it's been about 15 minutes, so let's check on our kale chips. You'll know they're done when you shake your and you can hear a little crunchy sound and they're not wet when you touch them. 